This is a cover crop experiment uh, planted in August 20th, which is usually the day that cover crops are planted in North Dakota, right after a cereal crop. This field had barley, and once the barley was harvested, the next day we planted these cover crops. As you can see, uh, a lot of the barley seeds they fell on the ground came back and they're in the mix with the cover crops. Here we have a series of cover crops. We have winter rye, radishes and turnips, and several other new ones that are coming up uh, the pipeline as interesting cover crops. What is interesting of this is uh, you can see that uh, something planted after August 15, uh, the growth is gonna be a lot slower than when you plant in July. So for every day that you go later after August 15, you're gonna lose a lot of growth. Because even if you have a few hot days in the fall, uh, the plants will never grow like they will grow the first two weeks of August. This plant here is, a, is winter camelina. Winter camelina is not really used as a cover crop. It's an oil seed, an industrial oil seed. But uh, recently, people are getting very interested in trying to use it as a cover crop. And the reason is, is uh, this is a broadleaf crop that survives the winter. It's very winter hardy, so we will have a cover in, in the fall, but we also, it will regrow in the spring and cover the soil in the spring and flower very early, providing flowers for pollinators. So it's an interesting alternative of cover crops that is being researched as is a new cover crop, uh, but um, we think it has a lot of potential. This plant, many of you probably know it because it's a weed, this field pennycress. Uh, we have it here because there's also some developments and some research being done and using pennycress as a cover crop. Uh, the problem with pennycress uh, is that it has a lot of seed dormancy, so it's hard to get a good establishment, and we really don't have good varieties. And the, the, but it also survives the winter, like winter rye or winter camelina. So it is a potential uh, plant to use as a cover crop, but it hasn't uh, been researched well yet. Uh, this cover crop here is a uh, uh, winter canola rape. It's a, a variety dwarf Essex. It's very common uh, cover crop use in mixtures. Uh, it, it won't survive the winter here most winters, but it will survive some when we have enough snow cover. Uh, it's a brassica, it's deep rooted, and uh, it's an interesting uh, cover crop to use. One of the cover crops that's become of interest for, from a soil health perspective is dwarf Essex rapeseed. And so here it is, it's a kind of a bluish tint leaf when if you're looking for it in a mix, but the root on it is very similar to a turnip or a radish where it has this thicker root and then the finer roots coming off. Uh, the thing that I like about dwarf Essex is that this root won't get much larger than this, so it won't form that big chunky root like a radish, but it forms these really great fibrous roots that will wrap around soil particles and form aggregates. Um, it'll get through cracks in the soil from compaction that you may not be able to get through with the other crops. Um, so it's a nice option to mix it up and, and, uh, and get something different for rooting structure in the soil. 